okay hello you beautiful people welcome back first things first happy new year hopefully this year we are going to make a lot of money and we are going to witness the alt season that we all been waiting for and i'll be honest with you i think this time is actually a little bit different and we are going to witness an alt season in 2026 now in this update about icp we are going to at first talk about this important trust wallet hack and then we're going to talk about dominic williams's reply and i'm going to tell you why if these guys just get help from icp capabilities these types of hacks are actually like it relatively i would say easily avoidable so first things first let's talk about the trust wallet hack itself this happened about eight days ago and people lost overall about eight and a half million dollars this seven million was actually the initial number right now i think it was yep yeah, about eight and a half million dollars according to the recent news now here's a very important point if you got trust wallet and for example i do actually have a trust wallet you need to answer this are you using the chrome extension on desktop or not because if you are using your mobile application for trust wallet you're actually completely fine you didn't lose any money and also you're not in danger of losing anything now if you have used the chrome extension on desktop okay that's a bit of a different story and even in this case there are some of you i would say including me who didn't really lose any money during this hack and that is because in those specific days i think it was december 23rd 24th and also 25th we didn't actually open the trust wallet extension on google chrome if you have opened your wallet during those days with your google chrome extension then okay i think you have lost a bit of your money and i think i saw trust wallet tweeting that they are actually more than happy to just give the money that people lost so if you have lost a bit of money definitely message them i think those guys are going to help you get your money back now let's talk about dominic williams's tweet because i think this is actually quite important let's zoom in more so we can see it a bit better there we go you see it's very important to understand what actually happened during this hack because that is really the key so let's dive in and see what is going on basically wallets like for example trust or maybe even metamask they are living as chrome extensions and that means the wallet interface is actually delivered to you through google servers and also developers update pipeline every time you open your wallet you are essentially trusting them that the code that you are running is very much clean and unfortunately in this case that trust absolutely broke because hackers in here didn't actually attack any private keys directly no they attacked the supply chain meaning they managed to compromise the update process and they managed to slip malicious code into version 2.68 for trust wallet so when users unlock their wallets in those specific days unfortunately the extension quietly copied their seed phrases and sent it to an external server basically during this whole process there wasn't really any phishing there wasn't really any fake links there wasn't also any user mistake this was just a normal update and that is like the real problem with today's wallet you see your coins are actually secured by crypto but this is really the point the actual door that you are using to reach to those coins is still in web 2 and web 2 can be modified swapped or in this case hijacked at any time and that my friends is the achilles heel that this attack absolutely exposed now let's talk about why dominic williams's reply actually matters a little bit in here and how icp is able to fix this very very exact problem at the architecture level first things first let's talk about on-chain frontends you see on most blockchains the smart contract is fully decentralized but the website or wallet interface like we said it earlier is really not it lives on aws or inside a browser extension store and that is the weak link in here on icp on the other hand the entire website runs on the blockchain itself we are talking about html css javascript they all are served directly 
from a canister and that means there's basically no chrome store update to hijack no hidden servers to compromise and if the code hasn't changed on chain okay the interface that you see cannot really change and a malicious update cannot simply be slipped in quietly and any change is going to be public verifiable and also cryptographically enforced second important point let's talk about internet identity which is removing the seed phrase completely you see the trust wallet attack actually worked because users had seed phrases that could be copied and sent out now with the help of your internet identity there's actually no seed phrase to a seal essentially your private key lives inside your device's secure hardware we are talking about face id touch id or maybe something similar and the key is just not going to leave your device naturally you never type it you cannot accidentally leak it and even like a compromised interface cannot really extract something that physically cannot be exported and that is really the main point and it's why dominic williams in this tweet says this kind of crypto wallet hack can easily be avoided just check out oic.com this is actually oic wallet i do have a wallet it's actually pretty great i would say and by the way in case you don't know oic is fully built on internet computer and if trust wallet just simply would have built on icp we wouldn't really see these types of issues and hacks so this my friends is actually like a clear-cut example of just how important and useful icp's capabilities are and i am very much looking forward to one of you guys in the comment section to say okay icp is a useless tech it's not doing anything caffeine is dead oh okay icp is actually going to completely shut down they are shutting down already they are closing all the hubs we are all going to be destroyed and we're gonna go to zero i'm really looking forward to that please please send all those great wishes in the comment section now let's talk about what is going on in the live chat because what we said in the previous video sort of kind of did not happen however i don't really think this move up is necessarily bullish for us why is that if you remember the last time that we talked about icp we were i think right around these areas and the idea was that well okay since we expected a continuation of the move down well okay we should expect some sort of a five wave to play out in here and the idea was this is like one two three four five wave down into a larger degree wave three and then we can expect correction for four followed by yet another move on the downside into wave five and what happened basically the opposite of what we talked about and i would like to apologize for my terrible analysis now here's the deal even despite that i'm not going to right now at least flip bullish in icp and i would argue two things has to happen in here no actually three things must happen in here in order for me to be like really really optimistic first things first let's just go around this area you see Elio's wave wise if you want to argue that we're gonna have our final low around here maybe this is like a key support then okay find me off of the lowest low a one two three four five wave up in order for me to flip bullish this a specific scenario you know it it's called an impulse rules for it are we should not have overlapping of the waves between our wave two and four like this and in any kind of five wave our wave three should not be the smallest wave and when it comes to the sub waves you know what i'm about to say we're gonna have five wave up into wave one three and five and by the way if you like more content about different altcoins i do actually in there talk about a lot of other altcoins including avax polygon recently yasmin coin and a couple of others that have decent fundamentals so again if you are looking for more analysis on different alts definitely give my second channel a sub now for our wave two and four we can consider different possibilities let's say for example like abc into four and maybe a wxy into wave two now here's a top tip for you if you want to be a little bit more bullish with more confidence okay after this five wave up you need to be patient and witness a correction as structure and this is going to have certain characteristics which the most important one you know it is being a slow and choppy so essentially if you want to be bullish having a five wave up is not really enough do not get me wrong it is necessary but it's not really enough you need to wait and see five up followed by a correction down and this is really another key point please please pay attention prior to this five wave on the upside if you are able to find also a very strong move down in form of a five wave 
this can be a good sign and i'm going to tell you in a bit why now based on what we talked about let's go on icp's price chart and see what is happening in the short term so let's say okay we are actually bullish and i am wrong and this is our final low in internal compute then okay in that phase i want to see something like this maybe a one two and then good move up into wave three four five which on a higher degree it's going to be into this wave three correction for four another move up into wave five if i see something like this okay i guess this can be our initial optimistic side second important thing that i want to see you know it is a decent pull back down and this has to be a slow and choppy move on the downside okay it's really really important to understand that and also another important point you see in an ideal scenario, if the bottom is truly an NICP, the first really, really bullish sign is going to be reclaiming this level. And by doing so, I mean, we go above it, do a pullback, and then get a continuation of the move up. And the moment that we take the highs, fair enough, maybe I'm wrong, and the bottom is set. Now, here's a very important point, And I would say the main reason for why at the moment, at least, I want to be a bit patient in ICP. You see, let's even consider having a 5 wave above the loss. Then, okay, even in that case, I think we should probably consider something like an ABC running or an expanded flat, which looks like this. This is our initial move up into A. Correction for wave B. Excuse me, what just happened? This is A. Correction for wave B. And then a good move up into wave C. And in this phase, if we are not going to take the height of our wave A, okay, this is called an ABC running flat. If we are going to take it, it's called an expanded flat. Nonetheless, the sub waves are very much the same. ABC into A, there we go. ABC into B, excuse me, followed by a beautiful one, two, three, four, five wave up into wave C. Now let's go on the live chart and see what is going on. No, let's actually do this. Excuse me. Let's say, okay, this is an ABC. So what do you have prior to this important slow in terms of Elios wave patterns? Just a three wave movement. And this is actually very, very important. If you remember about three minutes earlier, I told you one of the things that you can see in a chart if you want to argue that our final low is in is actually prior to having a five wave, you know it, a one, two, three, four, five wave down. So, if you are witnessing some sort of a three wave movement, that I would argue definitely should raise some eyebrows. And this is unfortunately what we are having in ICP. I don't really think there's actually any point denying the fact that this is clearly looking a lot like a three wave movement, excuse me, like an A, B, C zigzag down. And also, if you just pay attention to this move, is this a three wave movement or maybe? a five wave on the upside i would argue and we talked about this in a couple of videos back also this is just a clear cut a b c zigzag up so let's even consider this five wave on the upside at that point please 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 pay attention that we may just end up having the sub waves for an abc either in form of a running flat or maybe an expanded flat depending on whether we are going to take this important height about three and a half dollars or not so i guess the question is this what should we do okay i think we need to do two things number one we need to be patient number two we need to actually watch the structures after this move on the upside quite closely okay let's say this let's consider this a b c flat structure in that case what you are going to witness is actually a relatively strong move down in form of a five wave and the moments that you see this be careful odds are we are headed lower on the other hand if after this five wave up we are going to have a bit of a slow and choppy move on the downside you know what fair enough maybe this is an optimistic sign indicating the bottom is in and maybe i am wrong and this scenario is not going to play out hopefully this is going to be the plan in the short term now one way or the other as you can see bullish or bearish in icp after completing this possible five wave we are going to witness a bit of a move down so again be patient watch this move down closely and pay full attention to the shape of it okay the move down itself is not tradable honestly it doesn't even matter a whole lot what really matters is the shape of our move down and if we get a slow and choppy move fair enough maybe that's optimistic but for now 
I think we are quite a long way away to have such a structure. So again, at the moment, I would argue in Internet Computer is just a bit of a waiting game if you are a short-term trader. If you are a mid to long-term investor, well, okay, generally, any kind of move down for you and also me for that matter should be a buy the dip opportunity in order to get our average purchase as low as possible and hopefully we are going to in the mid to long term by the end of this cycle witness a great move up in ICP and destroy a lot of haters. And I hope I explained everything well and you understood what is going on in Internet Computer Chart. Anyway, if you found any value in my content, I would really appreciate if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on Twitter. And if you want more, maybe you want a complete analysis for your own specific crypto, or maybe you want to learn some decent TA in order to be able to make good money in the markets, you can become a member and ask me anything you want. And until the next update, I hope you have a wonderful time with your family and loved ones. Goodbye.